title, Getting into Sport and Physical Activity in Our Own Words. A row of seated elderly people throw red and blue boccia balls along the floor in our direction. Images play during the following voiceover. On an urban pitch, opposing teams of football players pass the ball. Inside a gymnasium, young women pitch balls overhand. A woman plays table tennis with an unseen partner. A male wheelchair user bats a ball off a post. A seated woman throws a ball towards her partner over a goal. And a smiling woman holding a ball in each hand dances merrily. Intersport is a project that aimed to increase the number of deaf and disabled Londoners participating in sport and physical activity by building the capacity of deaf and disabled people's organisations and removing barriers to participation. It ran from 2014 to 2018 and was funded by Sport England. The project was managed by Inclusion London, working in partnership with five deaf and disabled people's organisations, Disability Advice Service Lambeth, Greenwich Association of Disabled People, Inclusion Barnet, Richmond Advice and Information on Disability and Southwark Disablement Association. London Sport provided sports advice. During the project, we worked with 1,170 people. This film shares some of their stories. Title, Abdul, Greenwich Association of Disabled People, Participant. My name's Abdul. I'm, I've got a learning disability and I've got an hack condition. Um, I'm, a young, I'm a young person who's actually into sport, very much into sport. Title, Sonia, Inclusion Barnet, Participant. My name is Sonia. Title, Peter, Disability Advice Service Lambeth Participant. Hi, my name is Peter. I'm 20 years old. I, I work in Orchard Hill. Yeah, I do cooking and, uh, and sport and stuff. Title, Odette, Southwark Disablement Association Participant. Uh, my name is Odette Roberts, age almost 60. Title, Justin. Richmond Advice and Information on Disability Participant. Yeah, my name is Justin Mang. A gymnasium floor set with sports equipment including goals, traffic cones and upright hula hoops. Before when I was at college, I wasn't allowed to play football because they said that your eye condition and your learning disability doesn't actually allow you to do this. And then I also approached other clubs and they just said, sorry, we can't, we've got no, we've got no facilities to help you, which is not right. Which is not right. It should be inclusive. You, ha- you have got, you, you know you can make allowances and you need to start doing that. Two women play table tennis. This is, this is where Intersports helped me a lot. Because of there's no funding, I did try to f- join a gym, but the money was not, hundred. it's like, couldn't get it all together, so I just decided to stop. Well, before that, I was in the house on my own. We build the activity around what they want to do. People swim in lanes in an indoor pool. A group of us ladies um, tend to go there on a Monday morning to get in the steam room for half an hour, 45 minutes. And then for the next hour, we're in the swimming pool just doing exercises, stopping for a while, chatting, you know, so that began from here actually. One of the helpers um, helped me to link up with them and get my free pass. I'll just come and enjoy it with free people and as I said, the trainer, oh it's so beautiful, I said when I first came I thought it was so interesting because I wanted to lose weight because I suffer with depression. And it was, you know, it's so excitable to meet other people and to know what they've been through as well. It will get me out of the half more. Um, and I think it get people out of the half more as in they are doing something. Yeah, we did um, cricket and stuff. Yeah, we we just we just um, we just did some football. Um, maybe maybe get in the match or 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 a tournament as well. 
And uh, yeah, it's just great. It's just fun. One young man hands a basketball to another. He shoots and scores. When I first started into sport, I wasn't very, I wasn't very, I wasn't very confident. But um, I mean, I was, I was really, I was really keen to become a sports coach. So that's how, that's how I went. That's how we we went onto the boss. We went onto the athletics activator. And then I met street, I met James from Street Games through through Linda as well. That's how that's how it's helped me even more because it's helped me to open up more sports companies. Well, yeah, they 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 help me a lot. Well, basically, I just basically I just um like football. My team is Arsenal. Uh, we're not very good in the league at the moment. Well, the swimming has helped me because. The exercises that the physios like to give you to do, a lot of them I can't do at home on my own. So going to do it in the swimming pool is a great help. It's developed my skills and I've become more motivated as well. And I've become more confident and also because of my eye condition it's a, and my learning disability, it's allow, it has allowed me to open more opportunities. Like I get to meet new people as well, that people that have not got disabilities and it's actually fun because I get to play with them. I'm a, I actually, I've actually joined a basketball team as well, and it's for people with learning disabilities too. Well, doing anything on your own, it's lonely. It's better when you have company, like-minded people who's doing the same thing as you are. It feels great, but I think um, the main thing is just, it's just whatever you do, um, uh, take, take your friends with you, yeah. Joining this group on a Friday, which has extended a lot of other things that I do outside. So joining this group has been a great help to me. Yeah, it has. It's boosted up my confidence a lot. It's really let us out, you know? All the anger, the frustration of what we're going through. Life is just a struggle. So we wish we would want more funding. In the gymnasium, two women bat balls along the floor, while another seated woman throws a ball overhand through a goal. That's all I've got to say. More funding. Yeah. I'm going to miss it as well. This is the face. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Title. With thanks to Sonia, Justin, Odette, Abdul, Peter, and to all those who took part in the making of this film. Logos. Disability Advice Service Lambeth, Greenwich Association of Disabled People, Inclusion Barnet, Richmond Advice and Information on Disability, Southwark Disablement Association, London Sport. A collaboration between NICR Productions and Film Pro and Inclusion London. Logos, Into Sport, Lottery Funded Sport England, Inclusion London. Copyright Inclusion London 2018.